This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I have to get this vision out right now for my city right now. Praise God. So the vision is chickens. I don't know why I've been so fascinated with chickens lately, but it's all about chickens. So uh, that property that I was trying to get at 11610 Artesia Boulevard, the one that's vacant with all the beautiful lush landscape, Oh, yeah, that one. So what I'm going to do is, glory to God, I went to the uh, Lakewood feed store yesterday, the pet feed store, which many people are very familiar with. If you're from Southeast Los Angeles, Bellflower, if you're from Lakewood, if you're from Cerritos, if you have children, you've probably, you know, been to that pet feed store and purchased a bird or maybe got a... a, a, a a uh, guinea pig or maybe even some rabbits or you maybe bought some bird feed or you bought some rolling pigeons or something from this pet feed store maybe when I was a child I bought a turtle from there when I was a kid my mom and dad bought me a turtle from the Lakewood pet feed store on Lakewood Boulevard and yeah so they have a, a kit there for chicks they also have baby chicks that lay various types of eggs and we all know that eggs are a significant source of protein so what we're thinking and what the Lord has put on my heart it's just practice y'all it's practice practice makes perfect because I'm preparing for the promised land I'm preparing for Africa I'm preparing for Israel because our ancestors whenever you start talking about chickens to your mom your dad your grandmother they're gonna tell you oh baby oh, oh we used to have chickens when we were a kid and I used to chase the chickens and you know we used to kill the chickens and eat the chickens and you know we used to get the eggs or i used to go out to the chicken coop and get the eggs chickens were a big thing back in the days in california cerritos was cow town cerritos was known as a dairy farming and agricultural town so even though the city has developed and uh it's urbanized now we can still uh bring chickens back to the table so having chickens in our backyard in a coop safe secure no roosters because we don't want to hear that the uh, roosters crowing all day all night so we just want hens we want layers layers are chickens that lay eggs so we're putting this on the map right now so the lord has put it on my heart that perhaps uh they're telling me to stay off the property but uh you know i believe that god you know he's with me and i know it and i have faith so I believe that if I go on that property and I go ahead and get some chicks and start raising chickens on that property, there's plenty of land for them to graze on that field. So we're going to make that happen. Glory to God. I'm going to pray on it. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. But if not, then it won't. So we're going to keep trying, keep fighting the good fight. Fight on. Uh, fight on, fight on, fight on. We're going to keep fighting the good fight. We're going to keep implementing and suggesting things to the city even if it blows their mind they're like well where is this coming from where are these ideas coming from we're gonna bombard them with ideas self-sustainable food for the future and that's what we're on farming uh we're talking about farming and animal husbandry we're talking about uh urban farming and agriculture having nursery gardens and nurseries in our communities preparing for the future just in case we should have any food shortages. So we don't need to go out and buying up all the food and being greedy and buying up all the food in the grocery stores and Walmart. We don't need to be doing all that when we have our own sustainable food sources in our backyard. A small sustainable food source to sustain our households is the key for the future. Maybe not this year or next year, but I guarantee you this will be much needed in the future. And you'll thank me later. He'll thank me later. He'll thank me later. So, uh, shout out to 50 Cent in the community gardens. Shout out to everybody out there that's trying to implement strategies for the community. And we're going to get it. Let's come together. You can donate below at uh, West Coast Rise on Cash App. And you can make your uh, charitable donation so we can secure this land. And actually, I'm going to use that those funds to start purchasing chicks purchasing chicks and then when I get to the pet feed store I'm gonna show you those chicks go Rams baby yeah go hey we didn't make it to the Super Bowl this year but it's all right 
So we're gonna get those chicks and we're gonna buy those chicks and uh, start raising them on that property. So I'm trying to raise about $200 for a little starter kit. I'm not working right now. I'm just, you know, taking care of my parents, uh, being a caregiver to my mom and my dad and my grandmother. So I'm unable to work right now. So um, yeah, so if you could help support this, uh, this cause, this mission, $200, you know, I'm trying to raise to purchase chickens. And uh, as soon as I raise enough funds, I will uh, go down to the pet feed store and you can see me purchase the, um, the chicks and the, uh, the kit, which comes with the feeder. It comes with uh, a little bit of food. It comes with the heat lamp. So I want to get all of that stuff and start raising those chicks. And I'm going to camp out on that site. You know, I have a tent. I have a grill. I have everything ready to go so I can camp out on that site. I'm going to be trespassing. The city told me not to do it, but I'm going to do it in anyways because I'm stubborn and hard-headed like that. And um, I don't have anything else to do. So I might as well just do that. So that's the plan. And uh, that's what God's putting on my heart. May the Lord be with me in this endeavor. And may he bless me with the finances through you. You know, please like, share, and subscribe. I pray that this video will encourage you and motivate you and inspire you to make moves in your community as well. Make moves in your community. We're going to show them what the church has should have been doing. So we are the church. So if we have to be individually a church, that we're going to be the church. We're going to start our ministries and we're going to implement strategies in our local communities because that's what it takes because our city council, sometimes they're overwhelmed and they can't do it all by themselves. So it takes the people like you and me to step up and do it and make it happen and present these goals to the city or, and to the, to the mayors, to the city council, to city planners, to the city managers, even if they shut the door on you, it's okay. Send those emails, write those letters, make those phone calls, go on the city websites, make those, uh, make it happen. You know, it's election year. So we have to start planting seeds right now. So plant the seed, make it happen. God is with us. You have the vision, go ahead and share the vision. Share the vision. Don't be scared to share the vision. Share it. If it's on your heart, don't hesitate. Get it out there. Get it out. Get out our dreams. We have to get them out by any means necessary. I love y'all, man. I'm out. Peace. It's yours truly, by the way, Yeshua. Cash App donation link is below. Once again, we're raising $200 to purchase some chicks for uh, this property. And uh, so we can show the city that we can do this. So we're going to show them how to raise chicks. And we're going to film it and document it. And God is going to be with us. I don't know why I'm doing it. It's crazy, I know. But it's land. And God gave us the land. And he gave it to us to be fruitful and multiply. So it's time to take it back, baby, to the beginning. Back to the Garden of Eden. When we had animals. When we had livestock. And we didn't depend on, on grocery stores. We didn't depend on corporations and people, places, and things. And these, these places, people, and things, and organizations to... To feed us we fed ourselves we grew our own food we raised our own livestock we were animal husbands animal wives our wives that prepared our our vegetables and tended our gardens and tended and we tend the sheep so we're going to tend the sheep we're going to tend to the flocks and prepare this is all practice once we start here in america we start in our own communities this is just practice for what is to come in israel in the promised land because the land will be fertile uh we will have uh the resources and everything we need to thrive and grow and to settle in the land of Israel and Gaza on the Gaza Strip. See, right now they have the Israelis over there and they're uh, being sanctioned right now because uh, they're committing acts of violence against the uh, remaining Palestinians that are over there. So as us, the children of Israel, the Israelites, we have to go over there to help. We have to bridge the gap. We have to go there and uh set the tone and show them how it's done you know they say it's israel so if it's israel then the children of israel belong there right and if we are the children of israel then that means that israel is ours and that is our promised land but we're going to go together and go show love and love and love and love and build you want to stop the war you want to stop the violence then we have to go over there first we must go over there Judah, and I'm the lion from the tribe of Judah, we have to go to Israel as soon as possible, so that's the word on the streets right now, that 
we are prophesying to all of the churches, to all of the preachers.